Hello, welcome to another interesting class. Remember, science is fun. Today, we are going to be learning an interesting topic titled Mozo Man Molecules in Brussels for Fun. Are you ready? What are molecules? Molecules are tiny particles that cannot be seen with the eyes. Yes. Can you see the picture of molecules? Yeah, 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 yeah. They are too small and they cannot be seen with our naked eyes. For you to see molecules, you need a microscope. See microscope here. Yes, so we use a microscope to see molecules. The molecules of water, they are very strong. Do you know that? They are like muscle men holding their hands together. Yes. You know the formula for water is H2O. So the molecules of water, they are very strong. They look like what Muslim men, <clears throat> Muslim men holding their hands together. Now, what is surface tension? Surface tension is a force that pulls the molecules of water together. Yes. Surface tension is what forces that pulls molecules of water together. In simple terms, you can say some surface tension is defined as the skin on top of water. Yes, as if water has a skin. And that's why you can see a bog staying on top of water without falling. Do you know why? Because of surface tension. Wow, these are examples of ten surface tensions. Can you see a bog on top of water? And it can't sink because of surface tension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do we reduce surface tension? Now we are going to be looking at the ways we can reduce surface tension. One, by adding soap or detergent. See soap, soap or detergent. You put it in your water, you reduce surface tension. Also, by increasing the temperature of the water. How do you increase the temperature of water? By boiling the water. So when you increase the temperature of water, you are reducing surface tension. Thirdly, by adding oil to the water. Yes, add oil, oil to the water. Then you reduce surface tension. Now let's move to the next topic, which is recipe for fun. Yes, I am ready for recipe for fun. Do you know that different materials combine to form a new substance? Yes. We mix different materials together. A new substance can be formed. Yes, it can be formed. Now, we are going to be mixing different materials together. And we are going to be making our play clay. So, materials needed for making a play clay is a big bowl, a big spoon, a measuring cup, three cups of flour, and one cup of salt. Also, a cup of water is also needed. Can you see the bowl and the spoon? I can see salt, my measuring cup, flour, water, and oil. All these are needed for making a clay clay. The first step is to mix the flour and the salt in the bowl. So, mix the flour and the salt in the bowl. Then secondly, measure the water, then add the oil to the water. Then pour the water into the flour, salt mixture, and stir. Continue to stir, 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 stir. And after stirring together, then you can make things with the dough. You make things with the what? Dough. Yes, with the dough. Wow, can you see our dough? So after mixing the flour, the salt, the oil, water, and all substances together, a new substance is formed. And what is the substance called? The dough. My dough is sticky. And this is a play clay. So, dough is sticky like a natural, normal clay. So, that's why we said, for you to make a, a play clay, you mix all the substance together. And a new substance is formed. So now, you can use the dough to make different objects. You can use the make bowl, a ball, an egg, and even a cube. You can use the dough to make any object of your word choice. Wow!